now. All right. Here we go, Bo Hashem. Stanley Kutra Maran. We're approaching the this uh Okay, so we said that we've accomplished, we understood that once a person learns Paiskim, he is to know Kaddish Baruch with a complete heart. Uh, the heresy which is inherent in every person's heart uh, gets answered gets answered gets triumphant and this is how a person knows the answer to the questions that have answers and with tightness, with fasting, a person knows uh, he takes out the dibor from the straight of the throat, takes out the sparks of Kedusha. Then that induces the klipot to try to to try to to suck from Pneak Dusha. This doesn't work too well for them. They get all the Kedusha sucked from them. Then all those who are far from Kaddish Baruch Hu, um, come to Amos Israel. This is the perfection, the adornment, the jewelry of the Amuna, which is the Shechina. Then a person is Machazik himself in the Amuna, and he's able with a full Amuna, is is he's able to uh, be rescued from kashas that have no answer because they're too deep. And when a person has this kind of complete amuna, learn the paiskim, tainis, and we said tainis that we're talking about, not necessarily, you know, the way they used to do tanesim, but you don't need before davening. That's already tainis. Um, there's a tainis show us a few hours in a day, you know, you postpone eating. It's also pinas tainis. Uh, of course, there's a day you know that you don't eat anything. Uh, you go, you go vegan, you know, for for a whole day. Uh, that's also a tightness, and so forth and so on. So even the post came, and such a tightness, it takes away the the kedusha from the clippers then everything that he eats gets purified from the bad and his his uh, achilo brings about this is the unification of HaKadosh Baruch Hu and the Shechina. Now we touched about what it is that happens when the Yichud Kushan Kosh Why is this so important? Because then the Shechina is, is very intimate with the Kodesh Baruch Hu, and it advocates for all those who are far from the Amunah. 
and especially for the person himself. And what does the Shechina do? Well, how does it advocate for them? The Shechina tells the Kaddish Baruch Hu, you know, how do people know about your existence? Kaddish Baruch Hu, how do, how do, how do people know? They know from that which is hidden by they seeing that the Kodesh, what a Kodesh Baruch Hu does in the world. They see the Chasodim in the world. They know about Chesedak Hashem. You can't see Hashem is Baruch. See the Chasodim Kodesh Baruch Hu does in the world. So you learn from that from the Chesed of Hashem. You see the the mightiness that is being that happens in the world. From this, you learn on the gvur of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. And so, the Shekhin is basically telling Hakadosh Baruch Hu, you know, same way that people can know of you. Except from what is open, what is revealed, they learn from what is revealed and what is what is concealed. Kosh Baruch himself is concealed. From what is revealed, his actions, you learn about Kosh Baruch himself. You can't see a Kosh Baruch. You can't see this. This isn't concealed. Moshkina says that. You know, I'm at schus on them. They, they, they are not so chayev because you know they, they they can't see you. They only see they only see from things in the world, and not only that, but when they see the things which are in the world, they see that everything happens the chavana from a baruch Hu, through some kind of intermediary. Person goes to work, you know, gets pregnant, he goes to work. A person gets, uh, uh, this is how he gets his, you know, it's, that's the way that his sustenance come to him. And a person, he needs refuel, goes to doctors. In other words, every single thing that, that we have in this world is further concealed, further, it's concealed even more. Not just that we see the chesed, we don't see a Kodesh Baruch Hu, okay, it's so in the of Kodesh Baruch Hu. There's another complication. There is an intermediary that invites cautious, invites maybe a Kodesh Baruch Hu cannot give Parnassah without working. Maybe a Kodesh Baruch Hu cannot give refuel without doctors. Maybe, you know, and so forth. In other words, and, and people fall into the mistake that they make the intermediary being work, doctors, medicines, whatever it is, that's the main thing. That's the main thing. That's the thing that actually gives Panasa, that's the thing that gives her for. So what does Kodesh Baruch Hu do? What's the Kodesh Baruch Hu's role in this? He gives it to the Shemaya. He gives a Baruch Hu. So that's the main mistake. We make the intermediaries into the main thing. In a Kodesh Baruch Hu into a secondary thing, Chas V'Shalom. Exactly right. But that's the way the world goes. So, and it brings a person to a state that he has this apicorosis in his heart is if a Kodesh Baruch Hu cannot help without medicine or without working or without the outside reasons, without other causes. It's a shtick of the courses. What can they do? That's what they see. Now Rabbi says as follows. When a tzaddik with his tefillah does away with any kind of chiyuv of a natural reason, 
being the mazolois or a person is poor, the tzaddik gives him a dance, so he should have parnasa, or if somebody is sick, and the tzaddik davens for them, and they become well. So then, oh, so it's not nature, it's not the intermediary that, that determines. Because you can see the tzaddik davens, and we get the issue of that intermediary. He's really the one in control. He's the really the one who runs the show. Shusha may have feel as a tzaddik that he hears the tefillah of the tzaddik. And he does it where he pushes away, you know, the systems to how the bria works. So the tzaddik says, just pushes it, pushes it away, and it's done simply with Ashgacha, without without natural causes. Teva, and he changes nature. This is the Chosi Elosid, and all this will be open and evident in the future. Chazal said, Asidim Tzadikim Layachris is amazing. The tzaddikim in the future will revive the dead. The tzaddikim will do that? Yeah. Oh, Hatadu, you know, 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 People who died will bring them back to life. Yeah, what it's a deacon. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea, but that's what the Gemara says. In the future, that will happen. It's a deacon will have such koyach with that filler, it'll be open. There were already there were already things already like this in the world before. We know the stories about Elia Novi, or the story about Elisha, and both Machai Mason. The Gemara said that any Amoira, I'm not even talking about a Tano, but any Amoira that is mentioned in the Gemara has had the ability to be Machai Mason. You could do that. There's a famous story that that uh, one of the Amorayim came from Bovel. And he came before Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan was an Amoira. He was an Amoira. Rabbi Yochanan, for some reason, got, got upset with him. And he passed away. So Rabbi Yohan came to his caver, to that Amorir's caver. He was buried. He's buried. Yeah. Well, a person dies, he gets buried. So he came to his caver. And you want to tell the story that there was the snake around the opening. Because, you know, they, they, they used to have these caves where they used to be buried, you know, in, in caves. You go to Rabbi Bar Eli, you see there's a cave, and that, I mean, it's fast, there's a cave like that. So around the the uh, the opening of the of the cave, there was a snake that wouldn't let him go in. Rabbi Yochanan, the snake wouldn't let him go in to the cave. So Rabbi Yochanan said to the snake, move away. And let the Rebbe come to his Talmud. The snake wouldn't move. So Rehan said to the snake, go away and let, you know, a uh, uh, chaver come to a chaver. Equals, you know, the snake wouldn't go away. 
But Machan said to the snake, go away and let the Talmud come to the Rebbe. Yeah. Then the snake moved away. So Machan came to the cave and he spoke, he spoke to the Nifta. Came no, he didn't come. I don't know if he came out of the car, whatever it is. He... No, no, the snake just let Rabbi Yochan get into the, into the cave. And he spoke to him. It turned out that Rabbi Yochan became, was makpid by mistake. He was makpid. He got the kpeda. He was, he was upset, but it was a mistake. He got upset by mistake. Rabbi Yochanan about this, this Tana, which caused his, his demise. He passed away because of that. And that thing that upset Rabbi Yochanan was a mistake. It wasn't a... Rabbi Yochanan thought that he was, that he was making fun of him. That he, that Rabbi Yochanan thought that, that, he was, that he was laughing at him. And he was making fun of him. Rabbi Yochanan thought that this Amir was making fun of him. No, 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 no. The Amira. Of Rabbi Yochanan. So he was Makbid, he was Makbid, and that's why this Amira passed away. But then he found out that he didn't make fun of him. He had a, he had a hair lip. You know, he had a hair lip, you know, on his lips. So he looked as if he was laughing. Well, that's why Rabbi Yochanan thought that, 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 that he's laughing at him. And he was Makbid. Then he was told he wasn't Makbid. He had the hair lip. So that's why he came to ask Mechila from the Nifter. I missed this when he said in the beginning, the comes to the Yeah, yeah, because the snake wouldn't let him in to the Merz Kluba. Rabbi Yochanan said, I'm the Rebbe, and he's the Talmud, let me go in. So the snake didn't let him in. So he said, okay, let the equal come visit the equal. The snake wouldn't let him in. And Yochanan said, okay, let the Talmud visit the Rebbe. Then the snake would let him in. Then the snake let him in. Then he spoke to him. And he said, I realized I made a mistake. I want to ask Mechila. So he said, okay. He said, the Rebbe asked him, do you want me to bring you back to life? So the Amir says, no. He says, I, once he already tasted the taste of, of, of death, he doesn't want to, go, want to go through this again. He doesn't want to. So you can see that Amaroyim could revive the dead in the future. All this Sadiqim will be able to do it. We know there was a Misa. We're a very hush of Tzadik, a breast of her. He was the Rav in the town of Sokolov. His name was Remotre Sokolov from Sokolov. And he was he was the, the Mot. He was the, 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 the he was the one that passed the Loch on him. There was a Sokolov a Rebbe. There was a Rebbe there. And he was the Rav of the town. And he became a Breslover. He became a Breslover. The story is that Nachman Schuster was a very, very passionate person. Very passionate, very passionate, very simple guy. And he would come to this Medrash. Now, before he came close to Breslev, before he became close to Breslev, he was sitting there with the Chavrusa, and he was learning. And both they were learning, and Big Tamidech and Chami, they were learning. Now, Reb Nachman Schuster was a very, very simple person. He didn't know how to learn or nothing. He would come to the Besmerish every night, by Chatzois, and make Ting Chatzois, and he would cry. He was a breast lover, and he would cry. And he disturbed them. He disturbed them. But he disturbed their learning. Because, yeah, because Rabbi Hussakal lover and Yisrael Rusa were sitting there, two big Tamadech HaChomel were sitting there learning, and he was crying very, very loud, and he disturbed them. 
so, so Motchis Akolova told him, you know, like, why are you crying so loud? You know, you're disturbing people from learning. So Nachman Shuster was a very famous Dika man. He was a very simple man. And he said, you are Tamidei Chachamim. You have the Torah. You don't need Besamikdash. But I am a very simple person. I need Besamikdash. And these words came into the heart of Amantha Sokolover. You know, like, Bam, you know, it's just like it shook him to the core. He realized it's true. I'm learning Torah, I'm at a Mitchach, I'm in the early time, but I don't miss me, Besamikdash. And this is how he became close to Breslin. And there was biggest Nagdus of Breslin at the time. And there was a, a, a young Boha that came to learn with him. And Mohan took a lover once he was already a breast lover. So he came to learn with him, breast of his forum. And that Bocher died. While he was learning with him, something happened to him and he died. Mohan took a lover, Mohan took a lover understood this is going to, you know, bring very, very serious consequences. It will bring about very, very serious consequences. That the Baha came to learn with him, breast lover, and he died. But the people already, as his people were against breast lover. It was a dangerous situation. So he brought him back to life. And we're not talking about that long ago. We're talking about, what, 150 years ago? It's not that long ago. 20 years ago, plus minus. What about the other time? Like, the That's, yeah, taking a dibbik out of somebody and bringing somebody back from the dead, uh, it's, it's two separate things. Yeah, it's two different yeah, madrigas. I mean, yeah, in Achinam, in the Chavetzchayim, in Kenan, huh? So now, this is what Rabbeinu says, this is when, when the brothers of Yasef, this in the Shechina, comes to Kodesh Baruch Hu, and is advocating for the Jewish people, it is this, the Maitza with Yasef and his brothers, This whole Indian is is in is Miramas in Remas is hinted to this. When the brothers of Yosef spoke with Yosef that we, he would let Binyamin go. Vayigash alav Yehuda. So Yehuda passes Vayigash, Yehuda comes to Yosef. He says, Be Adoini. Let your servant speak a dover in the ears of my master. And let not your wrath, you know, you know, be on your people, I mean, in your slave. Because you are as important as pirates. In this particular Mahalach is this whole union with the Shechina and the whole thing. And this is how it's happened, how it's going. The Yigah Shalav Yehuda. Yehuda comes close to Yosef. The Zohar says, Da Tikrofta Malka, the Malka le Malka. There were two kings come together. Yehuda, we know, is a melech, right? And Yosef is a melech. Yehuda is Miramez Mashiach ben David. Yosef is Miramez on Mashiach ben Yosef. This is the remez 
On the Yichut Kutshah Bichur Shinte Ponim Ponim. This is done through eating. When a person eats a Michael that is totally clean from all the tumor, from all the, the clippers, by the fact that the person was zeichet to complete a muna through the melapeskim, it was the kashis, tainis, it was chazik muna, is able to take all the, the kedusha out of the clippers. And this is what the shechina says: when it comes malka be malka, the the the, the kodesh baruch Hu and the shechina are coming together. And it says, The Shechina is begging for mercy from HaKadosh Baruch for those who are so far from HaShem Baruch Let your servant, let your slave speak a dover in the ears of my master. What does it mean? It means that let me communicate directly through you. Let not the process go through an intermediary. Parnasa shouldn't come through work. Refuah shouldn't come through medicine. Directly from Kodesh Baruch. And don't be upset with your, with, you know, with your servants. Allah over on the past. For you know, for the way they were, they didn't believe in the Kaddish Baruch completely. They believed in the intermediary. You you need the intermediary. That means there's no way that you can have parnasa or you can have refuah. You cannot have that. But they believe in the intermediary also, or they didn't believe Kaddish Baruch at all. They just believe people, people. We you know, all those who are far from Hashem is Baruch. The Shechin is advocating for them. And he says they were they were Ali Khabamecha, don't be upset. You know, Be'abdecha, don't be upset with your slaves, with your uh, you know, either because they didn't have a complete emuna in you, or else they believed in you. I mean, they didn't believe in you at all. They only believed in doctors, they only believed in work, they only believed in marketing, they only believed in uh, in Kaikivat Simyodi, these and that. Because you are just like Paroi. Paroi is, we said, the word Paroi means quite a few things. It means it means the back of the head, Paro, the Oref. Paroi also means Gilui, revelation. When a Saita comes to Besamikdash, and it says, it's and the coin reveals the 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 shaitl from you know whatever it is the covering of her hair. So the the Torah says, Ufara Hakoyan Israel. The coin shall reveal her head. It's on Priya in, in Bris. There's the Priya, the revealing of the of the Mila. Kamoha Kipara Pyroshon is Galus. This is what the Shekhinah says. The only way that people can know of you is from that which is in front of their eyes. That's why that's why each one made his own mistake. I mean, you know, I know what I see. I see I work. You know, I get salary. I see I get work. I'm getting paid. I get to, I go to a doctor and get your food. Whatever it is that happens. Each one according to his toes. Aval, however, when you are mevatal, you're also in Bishwiri Tzadik. Because the Tzadik wanted to be different and you are canceling your will before his. As Chazal said, Kaddish Baruch Hu Geyser, Kaddish Baruch Hu decrees, but Tzadik mevatal. The Tzadik is mevatal, the Gzir of Kaddish Baruch Hu. He cancels it. He cancels it. The tzaddik is mevatel. The kodesh baruch hu is goyzer. Kodesh baruch hu decrees, makes a decree. But tzaddik mevatel. The tzaddik can 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 cancel it out. As I do, my galoy asosum. Then they will learn from that which is in front of them. Ah, look, the tzaddik changed nature. 
It's not nature. It's not intermediary. It's treasure Kodesh Baruch Hu. Then they will, it will be revealed. A tzaddik will daven and, and, and the dead will become alive again. You know, so people will think very differently. You see that the causality, the, the, the systems of causalities, can see muzzle, science, whatever it is, you know, obliges things to be in a certain way. And the tzaddik is mevatel. The tzaddik cancels it out. As I do, Shashel Kinim Tzad, they know that there is Hashem. So, I see the Tzadik, he's doing what the Tzadik wants. In Kamocha Kiparoi, you are like Paroi. Rashi says, very interestingly, Rashi says that what you meant to say to Yosef, what Paroi is Goizer, is not Mekayim. You're also a Goizer, not Mekayim. So the power with Sarah and Menu and Xeria wanted to take Sarah to, and he couldn't. So Paro he was Goizer, and it didn't come, it didn't come about. You also are Goizer, he told Yosef. He didn't know it was his brother. He thought it was, you know, the, the, the Melech Mitzrayim, it was the ruler of Mitzrayim. He says, what Paro was Goizer, and it didn't come about, what you are Goizer now also will not come about. That's very funny. I mean, he's coming here. He's trying to supplicate to advocate before Yosef, and he's saying such a thing in front of. And he's saying such a thing which is so it's offensive. He's <laughs> a, it's a malach. He says, "What your master is nothing. You're also nothing." Ah, how can you say something like this? Yeah, he took Binyamin and he said, "Binyamin, okay, now we can go." Binyamin stole the cup. You can go to, he'll be my slave, and you can go back to Israel. So he says, so you said, so what your guys is not going to be Nikaya. What your guys are, what your decree is not going to last. So he says, Afata guys are not The Shina says, You are guys, you are making a decree, and you don't, you don't make it come. And become reality. Why? Because the tzaddik is mevatel. The tzaddik cancels out. That's what it says. This the pasuk that we began the entire Torah says vayasev elokim esaam derech amidbar yamsuf vechamushim olu bnei Yisrael mes Mitzrayim. That the Kodesh Baruch Hu led Am Yisrael in a roundabout way through the desert. Yamsuf and Hamushim. Hamushim is either means that they were armed or it means that one out of five, twenty percent came out. Can you go back? What does it mean that the peacock told for the father to tell the story? Each one, brothers. No, 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 no. It says this whole. Dialogue between you know what what uh, Yehuda said to Yosef included that the ad, the advocacy of the Shechina for Kadosh Baruch Hu. Yosef was a melech. Yehuda is a melech. Yeah. Two melachim come together. This is a remez of Yehud Kutzav Chushkinte, and whatever. Yehuda is saying to Yosef, Rabbi Yehuda explained that's what the Shechina is telling Kodesh Baruch Hu. He says, Kamocha Kepare. People know you according to Pare, according to what is revealed. The Priya, it means re revelation. You reveal something. The Priya in the Mila or the, the Saito when they take off the covering of her hair. Or para, because the priya means it, it's gilui, one of the meaning of the word priya. So the Shekhinah said in the same way, kamocha kepara. How do they know about kamocha, Ribboni Shalom? How do they know about you? Kepara, the way it's revealed. Reveal, I have to go to work. This is how I make a You know, I don't feel I go to the doctor. That's why, is it, according to the way that, that it was revealed to them, that's how they know about you. 
and and being that things go in this world either according to the the mazolois or it's going according to science or whatever all those things it causes people to make a mistake and to think that it's science is really the thing that causes things to happen it's the medicine that really brings the food to the person it's the work that really gives it to the person it's an akadosh baruch so some people make a total mistake. He's not involved. Some people make a mistake. They think, yeah, is involved. But the main thing is the shtadlos. And they're making the mistake that they don't know that HaKadosh Baruch Hu does everything. HaKadosh Baruch Hu does everything. With an intermediary, without intermediary, with a reason, without a reason, with a cause, without a cause. It says, Vayasev Elohim. Everything, all this Torah is now encapsulated in this one puzzle. Vayasev Elohim, the Kodeshwar who took on Israel in the roundabout way to the Midbar, and Vachamushim Arub Neisrael, Mert Mitzrayim, Yisab Medrash, the Medrash says, Vayasev. Because led him in a roundabout way, but Yasev is Lashon Seuda. You know, Mesubin, Pesach, the way that you used to eat in those days is they ate with a seba. They used to lean on the left side, right? Those days. Because when the Tzadik is Mevatal, the Rosh Hashanah Baruch Hu, now something else becomes Goloi. Until now, we only thought that the doctors do it. Till now, you only thought that the, 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 the work does it. Suddenly, the tzaddik davens and changes everything against nature. Ooh, now, you have a different gilwe. Now, you know that Kodesh is the one behind everything. It's not the work. It's not the medicine. Because you see, the tzaddik cancels us out. It was supposed to be that way. And the tzaddik was mevatel. So now, there's a different gilwe. Not people who see with their own eyes. It's Sadiqim is a Mavatal Oh, now they'll know that everything was a Kodesh Baruch. We thought it was because of the reason, because of the, the, the Shtadlos. But the Tzadik's Mavatal, the Tzadik is making, you know, this Amorphous, it's totally above Teva. No, they think the Ratzon is the Tzadik. He's Davin Tzadik once. It's only Abiyase. The Tzadik once, say Davin Tzadik. The Kodesh Baruch, Hu, Kodesh Baruch Hu makes a decree. Why? Because he wants to. The Tzaddik is mevatel because he wants to be mevatel. Very simple. Don't get don't get too caught up on this. No, how does it fit in here? It fits in very simply. Well, I know the galui. Yeah. Until now, what was the galui? Rebbe Until now, what was the galui? Before the Tzaddik was mevatel. The Gzera of Hakadosh Baruch What what did the people see? Sibot. Oh, so they made a mistake. They figured the Sibot that's the main thing. What's the Kodesh Baruch Hu have to do with all things? Siata Deshmaya, Bracha, whatever it is. They made people who don't believe in Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Hashem Yirach. They think the the the, the, the Sibot is the main thing. What happens when the Tzaddik, when the Sibot is Decree that something will happen this way. Somebody is falling law Leno from the fifth floor. And the tzaddik davens for him and he falls down. And nothing happens to him. You can't explain it when Sibis or when when Liao came to the the the, the woman Aisha Tzfosis in Sefer Melachim and she was gathering some wood there was, was hunger in the land and he told her make me a little cake a little piece of, of baked goods so she said she only has you know she's t- taking it She's looking for a few woods. She only has a little bit of, of flour and a little bit of water. 
and for her to eat with her son, a small son, before they die because there's hunger. That's the last of their of their meal. That's it. They don't have any more food. So you know, she said, "How can I, you know, bake it for you? How can I give you the food?" I just have a little bit of kemach and a little bit of water. That's all I have. No rain came on another trip for three years because Eliyahu Novi decreed that. Three years, no rain. So Eliyahu Novi told her, don't worry about it. There's a little bit of oil, a little bit of, of, of uh, sorry, not water, a little bit of oil, a little bit of kemach. And this is all she has, a little bit, make a little cake for her, for her son. Before, afterwards, they're going to die from hunger. So he told her, don't worry about it. You make the cake. And I'm telling you that the, the, the flour will never finish from your jug of flour. And your, your, uh, your bottle of oil will never run out of oil. Just... Make me the cake, give me first, and you and your son will eat what I leave you. That's what she did. And what happened? The flour never ran out. The oil never ran out. She just had a little bit. It's just a little, a little, you know, a little, a roll. That's it. To make a single roll. That's it. What? She saw it was a tzaddik. He didn't know who it was, but she knew it was a, it was a novi. It was a prophet. It was a... What do you say when somebody tells? Getting into this story, though. Forget about this now. It's not. It's not. It's not the Indian now. I'm saying all this Indian Elia novi, alpi nature. She can only have a little bit of. She has a little bit of flour, a little bit of oil, for a single bilkula, a single roll. That's it. Then they die of hunger. And he told, him, "Don't worry. No, you make you make it. You give me to eat first, and you eat, and your son in afterwards. The flour will never end, and the oil will never end." What would you, what would you say if something said, someone told to you, and you did it, you believed in it, and talk afterwards, the flour never ran out, and the oil never ran out. What would you say? Hashem oil looking right. From the Gilui, when a tzaddik is mevatel, the derech hateva, just a little bit of flour, a little bit of oil, that's it. You cannot make a single book. There's a limit to how much you can live on this. When he is causing it, then you should never... Oh, now you see there's a Kodesh Baruch Hu that gives you life. It's not the food, how much food you have. Kodesh Baruch Hu is the one. And this is a muna bishleimus, as we all explained. This is how you you purify the food from all the, and how and now Rabbeinu says how you zoyche to this kind of a muna. The chamushim, chamushim, twenty percent of Nei Israel came out of Mitzrayim. Chamushim, Rashi says, echad mechamisha, only one out of five, eighty percent died in Egypt. Makas chayshech, twenty percent came out. Echad mechamisha. What is a chad mechamisha? A chamisha is a remez, is a euphemism for chamesh moitzah sapeh, the five tools that the mouth has in order to enunciate the words. That's the dibur. Shagadama akum, that when you are the dibur is proper, it takes out all the gdusha from the klipos. Shagadama kola akum, ponim lemunas yisrael le'avdo shchem echad. All the goyim lose all taste in all the shtisim of the goyim. And they come back to Hakadosh Baruch Hu to serve Him together as one. I will turn over to the goyim a clear language. It's the deeper that magnetizes the kedusha away from the klipos, and everybody will turn over. Every time it will come, the nitzus kedusha will come up, and then the klipos will have nothing to offer. There's no illusion that is important. There's no illusion that there's any satisfaction. There's no illusion there's any meaning to anything they do. So they, but the person needs a meaning, so they'll come to witness Israel. All of Israel merits Mitzrayim. Israel came up from the land of Mitzrayim. 
We made Sarah Goran from the from the, the straits of the Goran the throat. Aliday Allah's may Israel Mirosha Taivas from Israel come away from the spitz, the head, the root of the Taivas. This Master Sav, this brings the Goyim back to Minas Israel, and that's the main Kishut of Yamuna, that's the main adornment of the Yamuna. Now the Emuna is being beautified in adornment and jewelry that did not exist before because they were far from the Emuna. The Emuna Bishlemus. And when a person has Emuna Bishlemus, then you can eat properly and the Tikkun will be the way it's supposed to be. Ad Khan is Lashon Rabbeinu. That's the end of the third where Rabbeinu said it. And B'zat Hashem, there is a little bit more Hayisafas, which we will touch upon in Hashem next week. And with this, B'zat Hashem, we'll conclude the Torah. Yeah. Kol Tov, Och Hashem, Chazok, Chazak, Venis Chazek, we finish Torah, Sanach Beis, Kishboch, B'zat Hashem. Okay, but basically what Rabbeinu said this we already that the shame well we already we already have it because Rabbi that's host without the shame all those who need refuah will have refuah all the needs parnasa will have parnasa all needs to get to uman will get to uman all those that had to pay their debts will pay their debts all those that need all the issues will get all the issues without the shame the car of the will be zorcha without the shame to axir aximetoy and agit giben shtio without the shame. We'll see that each other in Mitz Hashem next week. Okay. I'm going to tell Myra to try to get to Umar. <laughs>